Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I will be breaking into probably my favorite money making method in Grand Theft Auto Online. There's a lot of money making methods out there and a lot of them require immense amounts of effort. For example, if you watch one like TGG's or my super try hard money making videos, you'll see that you have to do the Kyle Perico heist and then you have to do the Dr. Dre and then you want to do payphone hits in between and then you want to make sure all of your businesses are stocked, and then while you're waiting for the cooldown of the Cayo Perico, you need to sell your stuff, make sure your special cargo with Lupe is getting filled. It's a really, really time-oriented way of making money that, I'm going to be honest, it puts a lot of stress on my brain. The only time I really do the super, super try-hard money-making methods is when I'm doing live streams, you know, a three or four hour live stream where everybody's watching me try to make as much money as possible for my broke to billions of out. However, when I'm off camera, I'm obviously a lot more lazy, and that is when I do this money-making method. I would say on average it gets you about three million dollars a day, which is quite a bit. I mean, if you made three million dollars on average a day, and you did that for, you know, the whole week, you'd be making $21 million a week. That's upwards of 60 to $70 million a month in GTA Online for putting in about two hours of effort a day. So, I'm gonna get straight into how this money method works. The first part is to be efficient at this, you want to be very quick at completing the Cayo Perico heist. For example, myself, I made a video in the past where I was able to do all of the setups and the heist itself in 35 minutes. That's a pretty quick time. I'm actually quite happy with that time. I would say on average, though, it takes me about 40 minutes to do the heist, which means for me that this money-making method only takes 40 minutes twice. So it's not too long at all. It's about an hour and a half. However, if you take, let's say, an hour or maybe even a little bit longer than an hour to complete all the setups and do the heist, then it's going to take you two hours. And the longer it takes you to complete the setups and the heist, the longer and worse off you are going to be at efficiency for making making money with this method. So, as I said, I would suggest to watch either my previous video on the 35 minutes Kyle Perico high store, watch Beats Down video where he breaks into it. I would just suggest to focus on really completing your setups as fast as possible and doing the heist as efficiently as possible, making as many little mistakes as you can. Once you've got that down, that's pretty much it. You're going to complete the heist. And if you do everything right, and you get the elite bonus and everything, you're on hard mode, you're going to make about 1.5-ish million dollars, I would say, on average. And all the money-making method is, is you're doing the heist twice a day. So there is a 2 hour and 30 minute cooldown for the heist. And I know this for a fact because I went on to one of my previous live streams after the Kyo Perico nerf, and basically I, I think I started, or I finished the first heist at 15 minutes and something seconds and then I got a call from Pavel like two hours and 50 minutes in and that was just about two hours and 30 minutes around there uh, from a cooldown so the reason you want to know exactly when the cooldown occurs is because you want to start the heist on hard mode. If you don't start it on hard mode, then you're basically losing about $200,000 of profit you could very easily be making. A lot of people ask me in live streams or in my comment section how I always manage to get the heist in hard mode. And sometimes I won't play the game for a day and then I'll load it up and I'll have the heist already preset on hard mode. So you might be wondering, how do you do that? Well, it's very, very simple simple. As I said earlier, there's a 2 hour and 30 minute cooldown before you can start the heist again. And it does not matter if you are playing GTA while that cooldown is active or you are not. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll complete the heist, I'll close my game, and then just tell Hey Siri, set a 2 hour and 30 minute timer. And then when the timer goes off, I load up my GTA and Pavel will send me a message that says El Rubio is ready for you to rob him again, but he's on high alert. When he sends you that message, there's a 48 minute cooldown before the heist goes into normal mode. Basically, you have to start the heist as soon as he sends you the message or within 48 minutes, or after that, El Rubio is technically not gonna be on high alert anymore, and then he's just gonna go back into normal alert. So that is a very simple way to start the heist up. Now, you don't actually need to do the heist in 48 minutes. All you need to do is confirm starting the heist. So when you get that message from Pavel, what I usually do is I will just go to my Kosatka, 
pay for the heist and then it will always be on hard mode even if you do it a day or even two days later so that's how i always manage to have the heist on hard mode because what i'll do is as i said i will do the heist two times a day i will set a two hour and 30 minute timer on my phone and then when it goes off i'll do it the second time then i'll set another two hour and 30 minute timer and then i will literally load back in the gta and just start the setups, you know, not actually do anything. I'll just pay for the heist, the $25,000, and it will put the heist in hard mode. Then I'll close the game, load it back up the next day in the morning when I'm ready to do my first run of the heist, and it will already be preset in hard mode. So hopefully that solves the question of how do I always have the heist in hard mode, even when I start the game up in the morning. It's, it's honestly a pretty simple way of doing it. This is by far my favorite way of making money in the game, and that's really all there is to it. At this point, you've learned all there is to the method. There's no real trick or secret. It doesn't require a lot of effort like some of the super try-hard money grinding methods out there. Literally, all you're doing is loading in the GTA, starting up the heist, closing GTA, waiting two and a half hours, starting up the heist again, and that's it. And technically, this is the highest money-making method in the game because you're not actually grinding or even playing the game during the two and a half hour period while you're waiting for the heist to start up. And what that means is that technically that time slot is just cut. You're just snipping that out like an edit and then boom, you just merge the two heists together because technically you're playing GTA for an hour, doing the heist and then finishing it, closing GTA so that doesn't count as time. And then you're loading back up GTA, playing it for an hour, doing the heist again, and then closing it. So technically in two hours, you're able to make about three million dollars. That's pretty insane when you think about it. And you can keep doing this, you know? It's not like, for me, I only do about two times a day because that's how much effort I put in. But let's say you wanted to do this three times a day. Well, then very easily you could make about four and a half million dollars a day doing this method or even five million dollars a day, you know? So it's, it's really easy to perform this and you can keep adding on how many heists you want to do depending on how much free time you have. Normally what I'll do is I'll just watch YouTube on my second monitor while I'm doing the setups, still only only takes me about 40 minutes to do the heist and the setups combined. You know, I'll just watch some comedy bit from like Bill Burr or something. It's really easy. The thing that I've never liked about YouTube when it comes to money making methods on GTA is that they're kind of lies. I mean, yes, in theory, you can make a lot of money per hour. If you do your heist and then in that time you're doing your nightclub and paying Lupe to get you crates and everything else, and you're literally playing for five hours nonstop every day, then yes, you could make upwards of like $1.7 million every hour. However, nobody's doing that. I mean, heck, even when TGG or I make a video saying that this is a super hot try hard money method, there's no way we're ever actually doing that method. It's just a, you could make this much money if you had no life. However, that's not how GTA actually works. So I thought instead of kind of plastering this false belief of how much money you can make per hour, I thought I would actually just make a video showcasing how I actually make money off of camera because that's probably how you guys could make all of your money off camera. Hopefully this video helped you out. I'll see you in the next one. And if it did, please consider smashing that like button and uh, click the subscribe button. Bye-bye.